communities in crisis. That's what the stakeholders at this opioid summit in Cleveland are trying to improve today. Many in the audience, including the people who see the crimes firsthand and fight them in court, were surprised to learn that the fastest growing group of people becoming addicted is girls 16 to 19 years old. I would have thought it would have been the elderly population that needed the uh, uh, medicines, uh, but just the fact that the teenage population is what's so uh, prevalent in this is was staggering. Experts say that crisis is creating a rising problem in the drug treatment world. In a special report just last week, Hannah Lawrence investigated the practice of patient brokering. She joins us now live in the newsroom with what some say is an important step now fueled by her report. Hello, Hannah. Latricia and Josh, this right here is the story that we spent months investigating about how that practice is affecting addicts in our area. Since our report, these bills, both in Tennessee and Georgia, have gained traction. They would outlaw patient brokering. Pastor Steve Morgan went blind nearly 13 years ago, but he says that's not what brought darkness into his life. Recently, he's led dozens of funerals for people who have overdosed on opioids. But it certainly makes an impact on you. What saddens him even more tonight is that he's heard about people out there recruiting addicts for treatment centers just to get a kickback. In some worst case scenarios, the state of Florida found facilities keeping addicts sick so that they could continue to build their insurance. I think it's very unfortunate. Addict or patient brokering is a practice Tennessee lawmakers say they're learning about for the first time. When you called me on the phone, quite honestly. Senator Bo Watson says after seeing News Channel 9's special report last week, he's passionate about a new bill going through the legislature. You uh, identified uh, a problem in another state and got curious about it and asked us about it. Even though there was legislation already filed, it may not have risen to this level of consciousness. The bill would make it illegal for drug rehab centers to hire brokers. Bradley County's district attorney says he supports it. Where there are continued abuses, it would give us an ability to, to prosecute those. At its core, this is a consumer protection bill. So does Morgan. I think that we need some leverage because the problem is epidemic proportion. An epidemic these men are trying to make sure doesn't get worse. Morgan says that he's so troubled by the drug epidemic, he's proposing a plan to build a treatment facility in Bradley County. Reporting live in the newsroom, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thanks, Hannah. Similar legislation has also been introduced in Georgia. Senator Renee Unterman says she talked to several people who have been recruited by brokers in Georgia. She compared the practice to human sex trafficking. It's victimization of an addict and their families. Oftentimes these families actually pay uh, out of pocket money or the addict may have insurance and insurance companies are also complaining. You can read more about an addict brokering at newschannel9.com.